Hey beautiful people, thank you for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this look, the Lady Got Humps pinup. Stay tuned. So I am starting with some old hair. I think this was about one week to two week old twist out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just separate the crown section. So two parts from wherever you want their hump to start and you're gonna part the crown area as well so that you can have that little bang area to itself. I'm gonna put those away and just focus on the back for now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and roll the sides of my hair towards the top of my crown and pin them down using a bobby pin. I'm using a bobby pin that's the one that clamps down because it will actually hold my hair in place. So I'm going to go ahead and clamp down that one side. And I'm going to follow suit on the opposite side. When you're doing this, be gentle with your hair. Um, you don't want it to be so tight that you f you feel like your your eyes are being pulled back. Um, so you know your limitations. I do want you to know that you're going to be using a lot of hairpins, and I want you guys to make sure you avoid um, getting pressure headaches. Now I'm going to grab my clamp and clamp those together because I do not want to use too many hairpins because they're giving pressure headaches. Now I'm going to go ahead and slightly comb finger through my hair making sure there's not anything lumping together because I need them to be separated. I'm going to separate the back of the hair into two sections then I'm going to twist each section loosely well loose at the top Now, you don't have to worry about how pretty this looks. Again, the texture of your hair, whether it's old twist out or braid out, will actually make the Lady Got Humps style look better. I'm going to follow suit with the other side. I'm going to twist that, making sure the top is loose again. Going all the way to the ends of my hair. Now once done, I'm going to take those two twists and pull them on the opposite sides and take the ends and pin the, and pull them to the top where the clamp is. I'm going to take another hairpin or bobby pin and I'm going to gently secure the ends of those two twists on the top of my crown. So I'm, don't put it so tight to your scalp. Again, you don't want any tension headaches. Now I'm going to leave that alone for now. And I'm going to focus on the front of my hair. Now you want it to look sort of uniform. It's not going to be perfect. Again, this is just the first few steps. I'm going to put down the bank area that we prepared before. And I'm going to go ahead and fold it backwards. So fold it on over one hand and the other and roll it back so it's like some type of rotating <laughs> style at the top. And when you do that, it's going to create like a weird pompadour heel thing in the front of your hair. We're going to shape it, so don't worry. I'm just pinning it down with hair pins or bobby pins, whatever, whatever you choose. And I'm going to pull my hair and fix it as necessary and pin it as necessary to make sure that it's as even on both sides as possible. Um, because my hairline is not the same on both sides, it's always weird for me to make my hair look even in the front. But if you don't have the issue I got, just, just make sure you pin to the best of your ability. Make sure you pin the hair back to cover the clamp. That's why I use a black clamp so you, not, you won't see it. And that texture just makes everything look pretty cool and messy. It's like sort of that white girl messy bun look, but it's intentional. <laughs> Now I'm going to go ahead and brush down my sides. Feel free to use Eagle Styler Gel. 
um, to slick down your edges. And I'm going to keep pinning again. Just want to make sure my hair looks decent. And that's how it looks. The Lady Got Humps pin up. I'm